Good evening guys, this is Kuro. Got a uh, long requested game in Yukikaze. I finally just decided to buy her today. Uh, get some games in her. Uh, pick this game because it's a double CV match. I'm actually going to pause it. I'm running a little behind schedule. The double CVs actually increases the, uh, the pressure against uh, destroyer players because you're going to be... Uh, there's double the coverage double the, the fighter planes that they can pop over you um, and I think that the CVs is really what's going to give the attention um, or pull the attention towards um, you know the the negative aspects of of this ship this this is going to be probably the number one gripe about Yukikaze is you know, CVs, you know, supposedly prevent you from getting in close. So going over the matchmaking, we're going to get this game rolling. There is no, uh, no radars. Uh, Destroyer-wise, I've got detection advantage on everything. It's a Kagero, basically. And gonna, the map is Shards. And this is actually a really good map for this Destroyer. Uh, you've got a lot of island cover that you can use to uh, to stalk people if your radar detected, and and you're gonna see me use islands and stuff like that to kind of uh, creep in and ambush people. And you're gonna notice some different things about how I I use these torpedoes uh, compared to uh, my my more conventional. Uh, torpedo style that you see even with Yaguma where I do run F3s um, the difference is this ship does not have torpedo uh, reload so I've in my opinion I've got to be a little more stingy with my torpedoes uh, to get make sure I get the most out of them uh, this is almost kind of like putting if if you're familiar with golf this is I'm just going to you know take a single really accurate shot on where I think that this ship's going and I'm just going to just gonna let the the speed of the torpedoes do the work uh, so basically I'll be relying on my my prediction for how the ship is going to move as I understand how it it, it can move and uh, you know go from there uh, the captain that I have on this uh, right now is my Shimakaze captain. Uh, it's basically uh, an RPF, torpedo armament expertise, um, and adrenaline rush. Captains are the uh, are the skills that I have on it. Uh, right here, I'm I'm basically I don't want to go too far up in case something comes around this corner. Uh, RPF is telling me there's a DD somewhere in here so I'm thinking it might be safe here and I'm, I'm just gonna start you're all right the dinosaurs are still awake hopefully they don't go crazy uh, don't have a lot of time to get this video done tonight so I'm gonna try to just jam it in so I'm just taking a peek here, just want to make sure that I'm not going to drive off just in time to have, you know, another enemy ship just drive right in here and, uh, and back cap me. So I see that it's the Iran, Irian, or whatever the hell it is. Um, and, you know, he's spotted, he's kiting, he's kiting away, and I'm off to the races. I'm, I'm looking at, you know different targets pushing in here one of them being the Arizona one of them being this Lennon now the thing to understand about this destroyer is you you better be patient uh, patience gets you everything with this ship if you try to rush, if you try to, um, if you try to rush in and just like force damage, 
you're gonna you're gonna take you know pretty heavy amounts of damage now here I knew I was gonna get plane spotted and I just angled into the Irani Irian uh, that's the ship that I think is gonna cause the issues he's pushing into me now so I'm just gonna drop smoke and I'm gonna drop one perspective set of torps on this Arizona I, I basically was predicting that this guy's gonna turn out now I should be switching to AP here as my guns are coming around and I potato that I should have just taken that shot anyway but I do have AP loaded now get a pretty good uh, chunk on him just gonna try to derp the AP into uh, into his flat rear Now, I will say, this is, I am high tier here. These F3s, they do not play when they hit tier 6 ships, or, or even tier 7s. It's, uh, it's frightening. I mean, you're going to see what it's going to do to this Arizona here. Uh, it, it just rips them apart. And that's that's two torp hits, uh, midships. That's probably saturating the midship portion of of uh, Arizona. And uh, at this point, just gonna start kiting back. Torpedoes are already back up again. I was expecting him to turn in a little more. Uh, unfortunately, he's just going to keep motoring on, so those torpedoes are going to gonna slip right behind him. And you can see just how fast these things are to target. Got more CV action here. It, basically, I'm going to be harassed non-stop by... Uh, this Arizona's div mate, who is one of the, uh, one of the, uh, uh, I think he's in the enemy Ryujo. And, you know, it's, it's whatever. Uh, this Arizona is, he's just playing this all wrong, and he's just, he's gonna pay for it. I'm actually just deciding to push him just because I've got F3s, and I'm kind of tired of dealing with this bullshit. And, uh, fortunately my Jervis gets him, but the Jervis has taken an extreme amount of damage at this point. And, uh, he's trying to hide behind an island. And that CV's coming for us. He's, he's pissed off we just killed his div mate. And, uh, he's going to basically spend the, uh, the rest of the game trying to, uh, bomb me. Try to, he is going to kill this Jervis here eventually and that's fine i mean this guy he, he's only going to slow down my performance i mean even even here i'm not i'm not slowing down to take the uh the safe route where i can't be shot at by the irian or whatever the hell it is cv is going to put down the jervis um, honestly, I don't know why the Jervis didn't smoke. He, his smoke should have been up by then. It's, he's got a pretty quick, uh, reload on his smoke. CV pops a fighter over me. I should be just letting the AA go here. Uh, I missed the, the fighter over my head initially. And I'm just gonna, you know, do a little bit of juke in here. The CV does get a pretty good hit there. It, honestly, it's whatever though. Uh, this guy's going to waste so much time, you know, sending rocket plane after rocket plane after rocket plane at me. Um, that he's not really gonna have, you know, that much carry potential. I mean. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with the CV wanting to waste his time 
you know, striking me like this. Particularly, you know, if if it was a tier 10 CV, I would be a lot, I'd be a lot closer to allies, and uh, and using, you know, my my typical CV tactics here. Whatever. Honestly, all he's really doing right now is increasing my adrenaline rush and increasing my capacity to hurt his team. And I'm okay with that. So I'm pushing in here to try to cap this uh, B capture point. I'm going to get spotted by uh, uh, this CV here. I'm just going to pop smoke. I don't want to be reset while I'm trying to cap this. I'm just going to start shooting at the linen. He's spotted, so why not? Lennon starts trying to turn out. Too late, buddy. There is no turning out against this destroyer. The New Orleans is pushing in. Battery I wait. low. Why, thank you. I wait for the smoke to clear. And, uh, just gonna start slamming HE into this guy. Get a really good shot in there. That one stung. And, I mean, speaking of, you know, stinging, they're Kagero guns. I mean, these guns aren't a slouch. Um... They're accurate, they hit hard. I mean, that's another fire. And, you know, I've capped this point. I'm just going to kite away, let the F3s do their work. I mean, even a ship is as maneuverable as a New Orleans. It's just, ouch. And he's flooding there. Now this is this is kind of rough because I'm trying to get my team to focus this guy. They don't need to do much to, to end this guy and claw back some points. Um, and it, it's just taken forever. I've got a New Mexico. I don't, you know... I don't understand why he's sailing in that direction towards a Gajamata, um, but whatever. Uh, if you haven't figured out already, this is kind of a failed team. Uh, I'm just going to keep heading to CCAP. And I'm going to give this CV the slip here. Uh, I guess they thought that I was heading uh, south to help the New Mexico. Uh, the issue is this game is points. And... You know, I want to try to, I want this game to, uh, to, to last as long as possible, uh, to give me the most, uh, the most chance to, you know, farm damage. Uh, now here I, I'm kicking myself because I should have just went and taken this shot. I wasn't taking the shot because RPF is right here and I've, I've got a feeling it's either a CV or this Ashitaka. And I don't want to, I don't want to blow a, a big chance at, you know, more damage just to kind of pick that up when the CV is, is, he's sending die bombers right now to, to hit the, the New Orleans. Now I finally do get spotted and it's the Ashitaka. And I spot the CV. I'm looking check the course on the CV it's going to be a bit before the CV gets here I launch one short he's not really maneuvering so I'm just going to dr launch another one uh, right on the indicator and then I'm just going to pop smoke since I've got planes overhead I do want to cap this point uh, because I don't want to risk always nice uh, I don't want to risk you know any any additional points being tuck, uh, ticked by the enemy. Here, gonna see uh, some more of these guns on display. Mm. 4.2 of volley. That's nice. 
Wish you could actually get some fire damage. Now, these guns, they are short range. Uh, they're basically uh, upgraded range on the uh, Kagero. Uh, it's not a huge deal when I run Kagero. I usually run it with Torpedo Reload. And I run the stock gunfire control uh, module. Going to cap this point, and I'm just going to uh, reverse. I get a quick uh, sight picture here. And I, I quickly, you know, take and I, I get a good idea with where I'm going to need to torp. Because I've got a feeling I'm going to be shot at here momentarily. So I'm, I just launch a big fan pattern for torps. And I'm just going to move right back into, uh, into my smoke. And I'm doing that just to... I am starting to to lose HP. I know there's planes around that are they're looking to strike me. My CV has just gone down. I do in this uh, uh, the CV. Now my smokes ran out. Now this is this is one of the downsides to this destroyer. I am going to be spotted, but I'm not really going to be able to kill this Iranian because my short gun range uh here i'm trying to get spun around maybe i should have just sailed north around this island uh in a, a more safe manner uh, but nothing i do at this point is going to win this game um you know take note uh, I, i'm still on a third hp up to this moment i'm still what i would consider combat effective uh the cv you know, he's harassed me, you know, off and on, all, all game. And, uh, you know, it's it's not the end of the world. I mean, I'm at 158,000 damage, three full base captures, and three kills. Uh, here I get a shot at the Uranian. I'm just trying to dodge, popping my repair. I know I'm going to be going down here. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to finish the Uranian. Um... That's the way it goes sometimes. Um, but this one is a loss. And, you know, I, I don't fault the CV for trying to focus me. I was, I was off by myself most of the game. My team wanted to be anywhere other than the objectives. And uh, it let them basically be able to, to try to strike me. This is the CV that spent all game trying to, to strike me. Um, you know, okay, he had an alright game. I ended up with more base XP than he did. You know, how's that work? Do, do CVs really counter destroyers? This is, you know, one of the, the supposedly most punishing destroyers to play against CVs. And I'm doing all right. I mean, it takes it takes a little bit of time, takes some patience, that kind of thing. But uh, you know, it's it's. I I honestly I, I I don't understand why people think that this destroyer is is bad in this meta. And I'm I'm sure somebody's gonna pipe right up and say, oh well, what about radar? Blah blah blah. W what about it? You know, radar is a moment in time. I mean, you can bait it and, uh, you know, actually, you know what? I've, I've got a tier 10 video with uh, Des Moines and stuff like that that uh, I go to town on uh, on a team and, you know, just almost not even respecting radar. I'll, I'll work on getting that one uploaded shortly. Um, but it's... You know, it, it's a matter of how you approach the game, um, how you try to, you know, mitigate threats to your, your ship. And in this case, I didn't even really care about the CV. I knew I needed to get, you know, the capture points. You want to drop me? Drop me. Whatever. You know, I'll, I'll make some little half ass attempt to, to, you know, dodge a couple hits here and there. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, these tier 6 you know carriers they're not they're not going to be 
nearly as punishing as like a tier 10 CV. Um, I included this game just because um, one of the fundamental gripes is trying to be able to, to close into torpedo range. And in this case, you've got twice the planes flying around spotting you. Uh, trying to blow your stock and, and things like that. So I feel that this game is actually um, more punishing than a, a single tier 10 CV. You can watch, see where the tier 10 CV is going, and then branch out and go do something. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the video off here. Uh, me and this destroyer, we're having a really good time already. Um, I've been dealing all sorts of massive damage to, to teams with these F3s and uh, it'll be really interesting to see how this destroyer continues to stack up. Um, basically this this is has been my dream ship from the get-go. I have wanted a Kagero with F3 torpedoes. I wish I wish it didn't have all the the Azure Lane, whatever. I hate the camo, blah blah blah. I'm, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. But the package itself is exactly what I've wanted uh, for years in this game, and that's what's drawn me to this ship. And it's it's already one of my favorite destroyers. So anyway, if you've got any questions or comments, leave them below. Hope you guys are having a good night, and I will talk to you later.